what up coming to you live from hvny imports it is currently a beautiful sunny day out today and it's really got me missing the convertible life as you guys know about six months ago someone did a hit and run on my beloved miata and since then i've been kind of traumatized i don't even like talking about the lord voldemort or mazda but it's got me thinking instead of even entertaining by another miata why don't i get myself a suzuki cappuccino so this one in particular has a beautiful mid interior it's also the limited model, so it has some cool little wood grain. Only has 80,000 kilometers, some speakers back there, roll bar, has all the panels, has the panels in the back, and it also has, you know, some minor imperfections, which Way Before the Fame loves. This guy's looking like the perfect wrap candidate. Get some new rims on here. Loving that the interior is flawless, but I could all make this one color. Maybe do like a cool carbon fiber on the hood. This one has some potential. Or since I'm already a declared Honda boy, should I get myself a baby NSX? So this red one's in very mint condition. HVNY is actually going to Honda Day. That's this weekend in Maryland. I was thinking about going, but as much as I say I'm a Honda boy, I'm not that much of a Honda boy to drive this five hours and just chop it up with people like all things JDM and right hand drive Ron and talk about VTEC. You guys could miss me on that. I don't like Hondas that much. But I do like Honda Beats. And this one is in very mint condition. You could see the red actually pops i haven't seen a lot of red honda beats a lot of them i've seen are silver or yellow but this guy's cool has a zebra floor mats under here is very mint it only has 112,000 kilometers everything looks nice and clean the top's in good condition this is a really good candidate probably out of my budget and you guys know i like to buy little fixer uppers so this silver one is looking more like a way before the fame prospect this guy could also be wrapped i know this is very common on honda beats but this one is still pretty mint still got the zebra seats this one has 124,000 kilometers still five speed everything looks nice it needs a new top which is honestly is just more content i like buying ugly cars because the more ugly the more videos i can make videos of me wrapping this ordering a new top from japan maybe going to an old upholstery, a reupholstery shop in new york and getting it fixed there but it gives me more content and more things to do so this is looking like a real candidate so i'm gonna grab the keys to maybe this honda beat and definitely the cappuccino but in the meantime let me just walk around and show you guys some new cars they got here they still got that silver subaru sandbar that's supercharged one day i'm gonna get one of these scott if you're watching hopefully i could join the supercharged club very soon but i think in the meantime i'm gonna have to join the abc club and get myself a b or a cappuccino az1 is not realistic but maybe beat her cappuccino then we got some high jets over here this one's a climber so it has diff lock this one's a s110 always wanted one of these we got two suzuki carries we got some full size units this is a big boy pajero and then this is a light ace another sandbar another subaru this suzuki with the light bar is pretty nice oh this thing is real nice then we got the fire truck over here another mini cab I did a video on this. These are really cool too. I want to get one of these one day. Sooner than later, I'll get myself a five speed that had to high jet in general, but I would love to get a fire truck. And then surprisingly, I know a lot of people watching this want me to buy this. And this isn't a bad option, I guess. The Vivio is probably just as fast as the Cappuccino, but it's not a convertible. I get it. It's supercharged and it's fun. It's five speed. This one only has 85,000 kilometers, so it's even more mint. Has these cool bucket seats. I love the interior. I don't even mind those little rips. Power windows. A lot more comfortable than the cappuccino, but I don't know. I don't really want a hot hatch. If it feels winter, maybe I want this, but come on, guys. It's beautiful out. Tell me you don't want to drop the top. This is a candidate, though. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. I just don't really want another hatchback. In my last video too, a lot of people said they have Suzuki Altos and they get 40 MPGs. I don't really believe that to be true, but here are two Suzuki Altos. This 96 is cool. I love that the windows on the older ones pop out. Definitely want to get one of these one day too, but I want the ones that have the cappuccino motor. I think they're called like RXRs or something like that. These are a good option, but honestly, maybe the crowd favorite, maybe the car that needs the most work this suzuki cappuccino so i got the keys to the cappuccino here now let's examine this car a little further so paint really is nothing to me when i got the jimny it was in worse condition and me and jen wrapped it and made it look pretty nice i'm more looking for some other flaws like this is nothing to me we'll sand that down and get it done 
I see a little rust spot right here. We could probably figure that out. Like I mentioned, the interior is mint. That's a really big pro for me because I'm not really trying to buy seat covers or get the seat reposted. If I can have a stock, nice OEM interior, that makes me happier. I'll definitely change out that wheel and get something a little smaller, but it's nice that they added this little wood grain to the wood grain on the rest of the car. Door cards are pretty nice. Power windows obviously work. Has all the panels like I mentioned. And the trunk is pretty clean as well. Has all three bags, which is nice. Still has a spare tire, which is cool. Bumper looks nice. Got the little rain guard. This door is cool. Don't see anything crazy there. Let's pop the hood. We got ourselves a strut bar. That saves me some money. Blue and red coil wires. I've never seen that before. We got some little scary areas there. Pretty stockish though. Gives me some room to buy, you know, a blow valve, intake, some cooler parts from Japan. All right, all right. We'll clean up the headlights, get that done. Let's start this bad boy. Has a turbo timer somewhere too. Is it under here? I think it's right here actually. Let's see the brand. If it's like a cool HKS one, it adds some JDM points. It is a, whatever that is. Countdown Turbo Timer B11. Starboy maybe? I don't see the brand. But it has a turbo timer, which is cool. Five speed, of course. Windows work. Should I take the tops off? Mm, oh whatever yeah i'll take the top off we're gonna make this video let's make the video let's really do it do it so the way you do it is to pop that guy down take this one down maybe i'll just turn it into a t-top instead of taking them all off but if i'm gonna entertain buying a convertible let me really entertain it and just like that we're rocking the t-top so let's get in here something that is never very easy and owning a cappuccino I don't know how I'll ever get used to that. I gotta use two hands to get my foot in here. And I'm a Miata guy, don't get me wrong. I like small cars, I like small K cars and all that. But these are just so much smaller. All right, shifter feels nice and tight. Going to first, don't have a lot of play. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, man, it's just so much faster. I don't have that much space to like actually open it up sadly if you guys watch a lot of my pov videos i am currently in second gear and i am going 20 i could easily probably go to 60 kilometers an hour in second that's what really draws me about the cappuccino like it's tight right now i know i said that that was kind of a con but i think not having a roof makes it a little easier like subconsciously like it's like i have no roof though i got so much space now like now just taking this off and getting the visibility i feel like i'm driving a hummer right now like it makes it a lot more comfortable but these things are so quick and then let's not forget unlike the honda beat i'm kind of in a hard top slash soft top like i think that's one of the coolest things as someone that's on the miata you either have to have a hard top or a soft top it's not yeah, as easy as a cappuccino where you can just take it off and just rock out with your soft top it's not that simple but this guy, they made it very simple. They made it very simple, they made it very fun. And that's why I really wanna get a cappuccino. Sucks that this one is not registered and I can't drive it on the highway and do like a POV, like real run because I would love to see what this is like at the higher speeds. Shout out to that turbo timer. Well, let's put the roofs back on. Let's get into the silver Honda Beat. I have it parked over here so we can drive that one next. And then we have the Honda Beat. So just like the cappuccino, this guy needs a little work, but that only means more videos for me. Let's take a look at the front. If I own this car, I would clean this up like crazy, take the spare tire out. And whenever I go to events or whenever I park my Honda Beat, I will grab my book bag and grab all my things out of here. So people think I have like a poor man Ferrari. That'll be the first thing I did with the Beat, like all jokes aside. But overall, the car is pretty clean. Got the stock zebra seats, stock rims. We can take a look back here, see what this looks like. You already know, baby NSX. You got your very little storage back here. Looks like a new battery. Let's get inside the interior. You have your traditional grip that every single Honda Beat has. They always have that little problem from getting in and out of the car in all the years. But besides that, it's pretty clean. 
start this guy up. I know a lot of these have like um, problems here in the cluster and this one doesn't have it, so that's a good sign. Ooh, it has an ETC reader somewhere. I don't even see it. it. Has these speakers too, which are nice. I would definitely take this out and put CarPlay though. I know they sell kits for that. I'm not gonna put the top down because of the plastic, but it's five speed, of course. AC, power windows. Pretty clean, nice little project. All right, let's spin the block and the B real quick. See what this is feeling like. First and foremost, right away, a lot more room. You could be over six feet and drive a Honda B. This is definitely one of the more comfortable two-seaters. It feels like I'm in a Miata or something. But all right, let's go. See what this is like. All motor Honda gang. Feels good. Nice and planted. Nice little sound to it. After driving a Honda Life, which is not the same car, it actually has a better engine allegedly. Driving one of these manuals really nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm probably just gonna end this video here. I'll park both the cars back. What do you think? Should I get a cappuccino? Should I get a B? Should I get the Vivio? But it's not a convertible. It doesn't fix my hot convertible life. And I like the Vivio. They took the rims off. They put the stock rims back on. This thing looks real good. But what am I gonna do when it's 90 degrees in New York? If I turn the AC on, I'm gonna lose half my power. I don't know if it's really worth it when I got two drop top options. But let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Cappuccino, Beat, or I guess Vivio. Peace. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.